So maybe we'll call this example four. This is supposedly a real life example. I'll try to persuade you that it is. Um, so, so I like this example because it's got a lot of math as well as physics in it. So here I am on the surface of the Earth. And here is, is a satellite going this way at some velocity v. Okay. And this satellite has a clock on it because this is a GPS satellite and it has a, it has a time t. Okay. But I have a watch. In fact, it's right here. And I have a time which I keep, which is t prime. And there's an interesting relationship between t and t prime, which is called time dilation. And this is uh, from special relativity. And it's the following formula. t prime is equal to t divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared where v is the velocity of the satellite and c is the speed of light. Okay, So now I'd like to get a rough idea of how different my watch is from the clock on the satellite. All right. So I'm going to use this same approximation. We've already used it once. I'm going to write t, but, but now let me just remind you, the situation here is we have something of the form 1 minus u to the minus 1 half. All right? That's, the, that's what's happening when I multiply through here. So with u equal to v squared over c squared. All right? So, so in real life, of course, the expression that you're going to use the linear approximation on isn't necessarily itself linear. It can be any physical quantity. So in this case, it's v squared over c squared. And now the approximation formula says that this is approximately equal to, well, again, it's the same rule. There's an r, and then x is minus u. So this is minus minus a half. So it's, it's uh, 1 plus a half uh, u. All right? So this is approximately, by the same rule, this is t t prime is approximately t times 1 plus a half v squared over c squared. Now, I promised you that this would be a real life problem. So the, the question is, when, when people were designing these GPS systems, they, they run clocks in the satellites. You're, you're down there. You're making your measurements. You're, you're talking to the, uh, to the satellite by, by, uh, or you're receiving its signals from its radio. The question is, is this going to cause problems in the, uh, in the um, transmission? And there are, there are dozens of such problems that you have to check for. So in this case, what actually happens is that V is about four kilometers per second. That's how fast the GPS satellites actually go. Um, in fact, they had to decide to put them at a certain altitude, and they could have uh, tweaked this if they had put them at different places. Um, anyway, the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the fifth kilometers per second. All right. So this number, v squared over c squared, is approximately 10 to the minus tenth. All right. Now, if you actually keep track of how much of an error that would make in a GPS location, what you would find is maybe it's a millimeter or something like that. So in fact, it, it doesn't matter. So that's, that's nice. But in fact, the engineers who were designing these systems actually did use this very computation, exactly this. And the way that they used it was they decided that because the clocks were different, when the uh, satellite broadcasts its radio frequency, that frequency would be shifted, would be offset. 
And they decided that the fidelity was so important that they would send the satellites off with this kind of, exactly this offset to compensate for the way the signal is. So from the point of view of good reception on your little GPS device, they changed the frequency at which the uh, transmitter in the satellites according to exactly this rule. And incidentally, the reason why they didn't, they ignored higher order terms, the sort of quadratic terms, is that if you, if you take u squared, that's of size 10 to the minus 20th. And that really is totally negligible. That doesn't matter to any measurement at all. That's on the measure, uh, on the order of nanometers. And it's, it's not important for any of the uh, uses to which GPS is put. OK, so that's a real example of, uh, of a use of um, linear approximations. <clears throat> 